hey guys welcome back to my channel aging motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative shape animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and I'll call it as main animation and width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate. I'm going to choose 30 second long and duration is also 30 second long and this time uh, at least for this one I'm going to choose background color red just for the reference and then simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on titles section then i'm going to create one ellipse so i'll to choose my ellipse tool and i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill and for the stroke i'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse over here now select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now press s for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this and also increase the stroke size little bit now select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s for scaling option and scale it like this select this hit ctrl d to duplicate it press s scale it like this and select this hit ctrl d press s and scale it like this okay so our scaling things is done now let's create another copy and hit ctrl d and press s and again scale it like this and this time I'm going to reduce the stroke width somewhere around like this and adjust the scale somewhere around like this. Now our shape is ready. Now we have to animate this thing. So let's select all of them and press S for scaling animation. Let's create one keyframe. Zoom in a little bit. Go to around let's say 20 seconds and like this. We will start with this one. I'll scale it down. Then I'll select this one and I'll scale it down like this then i'll select this one i'll scale it down up to this i'll select this one i'll scale it down up to this then i'll select this one and i'll scale it down up to this okay so we will get something like this now let's go to 1.10 frames and we, what we are gonna do we will copy first keyframe so hit ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c ctrl v so you can copy the first keyframe like this okay like that now select all of them and press r for rotation and convert these layers into 3d and we will create one keyframe at y rotation and hit u so we can see those keyframes make sure that your y rotation keyframe should be here like this and let's go to around two seconds and we will make this rotation 180 like this okay so if you see this now we will get something like this okay now at this point what i'm gonna do i'll select this key scaling keyframe i'll hit ctrl c ctrl v and i'll do this procedure for all of them like this like this okay so you if you see this animation you will get this then this then after 10 frames forwards what we are going to do i'll copy the first keyframe of scaling okay like this so if i press s as you guys can see i'll get this kind of uh, five keyframes and if i press r i'll get these two keyframes over here and these two keyframes over here so let's focus on scaling keyframe select those keyframes and hit f9 and now we will go to the graph editor and now what we are going to do over here let's see select this graph right click and make sure that you are in edit speed graph select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so initially the speed is going to be low and when this is going to scale it too much down then speed becomes fast then we will select this handle let's say let's move this handle over here and this handle over here i'll select this handle and i'll adjust it over here select this and adjust this handle over here like this okay and now we will select this handle by holding shift move this over here select this handle by holding shift move this over here 
okay so this is for scaling animation now press r for rotation let's select all the rotation keyframes and hit f9 and uh, go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'm going to move this handle over here and i'll move this handle over here okay and hit u so if i see i'll get something like this if i see this animation i'll get this kind of stuff now after that we need to do this thing stuff again so what we are going to do press s first like this select those key scaling keyframe and hit ctrl c hit page down button one time so your time indicator will go one uh, i mean one frame forward simply hit ctrl v and we will follow this procedure for over here also hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v select this hit ctrl c ctrl v okay now hit u so we can select all of them and hit u so we can see the rotation keyframes also now as you guys that know that rotation is going to start from this keyframe which is uh, for second keyframe so in this case our rotation st should start from this keyframe so i'll create one keyframe at rotation over here then go over here and now in this one i am going to make it 360 rotation now press r for rotation again and we will select this rotation keyframes and we will hit f9 we will go to the graph editor and we will adjust this rotation graph just like this this one should be over here and this one should be over here so if you see we will get this kind of animation so if i hit u i mean and play i'll get this animation first then i'll get this animation first so this is how i'll get this animations now we want this uh, entire animation in the form of loop so for that what we are need to do then it we need to create one keyframe at the st start of each and every one so i'll create one keyframe at the start of rotation then at last as you guys can see we don't have last keyframe for rotation so again at last we will create one keyframe for rotation okay and now uh, all you need to do simply alt on over here and type loop out expression on it simply copy that loop out expression by holding alt i'll press ctrl v ctrl v ctrl v alt click and press ctrl v to paste that loop out expression to everyone like this so after add uh, this one this should start to animate like a first one now this is for the animation stuff but what we need over here we need to change the color of this one uh, at this flip so for that what we can do over here i'll simply select all, but before that one thing is remaining i'll select this last uh, not last one but this one over here and this one should be my outward so i'll change the color of this one to yellow and i'll bring this downwards and i'll hit ctrl d and i'll select the sixth layer and i'll change the color to someone else like pitch let's select this i'll delete this stroke over here and i'm going to choose fill and for the fill i'm going to choose black color so along with this this one should also start to animate okay now hit u now uh, at this point we need to change the color of each one and every one so for that what we can do let's see uh, either you can do one thing you can simply select any one of them like this let's say uh, let's go to the effect and presets panel and you can either apply tint effect so you can swap this or uh, instead of that what we can do over here instead of uh, adding uh, i mean changing the stroke color each and every one what you can do simply go to the effect and presets panel and apply fill effect on it let's say apply fill effect select this effect uh, and choose white color select this fill hit ctrl c to copy select all of them and hit ctrl v to paste that and select the last one hit ctrl v also and choose black color okay now i'll select this one uh, hit u let's go over here not properly at this point but just before this keyframe and we will create one keyframe at fill color now select this layer create one keyframe at fill color select this create one keyframe select this layer 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 and create one keyframe okay 
and hit U so you can see those fill uh, color effect also. Now hit page down button one times and now change this color to black. Now we will do this thing for all of them. So as you guys can see, uh, we are getting this shift in color for each and every one. But for this layer, which is our black one, we need to change this black one to white one. So if I see after this, I'll get this kind of change. Then at this point, again, I want to regain my original white color. So I'll create one keyframe over here. Hit page down button and this time choose white color. So again, uh, select this, create one keyframe, go one frame forward and change it to white color. You can select those keyframe, hit Ctrl C, go over here, select this uh, and hit Ctrl V. Okay, so select this, hit Ctrl V, select this color stuff, hit Ctrl V, select this one, but this is our last one. So select one keyframe over here, hit page down button, go over here and change this color to black one. Now we want looping animation for this color change also. So initially we will create one keyframe at colors for each and every one or as well as for the last point we will again create one keyframe. Okay and again we will apply loop out expression for this color also. So I'll copy this expression for this fill colors also. Okay. Okay. So now even after that, I'll get this kind of shift in colors. Now you simply hit U so you can see only those keyframes. Now we will select all the keyframes, including rotation and by holding alt, I'm going to change the duration of this one to four seconds only. So I'll get something like this now. But if you see this is uh, happening like uh, all together, we don't want that stuff. So what we are going to do, we will hit page down button two times. Let's say I'll select this second one or let's say this one. Uh, we need to adjust it to uh, according to the order like a small one should be first. So let's select this small one and bring this at the top let's hide this then we will select this one not this one yeah this one should be over here let's hide this then this one this one should be over here let's hide this then this one is right this one is right and this one is right. okay so our order is now proper like one two three four five six yeah okay now zoom in a little bit hit page down button two times select the second one move this over here again two times page down button move this over here move this over here page down button two times select those last or two of them and let's move them over here and now go to the start select all of them by holding alt i'll move them over here or uh, you don't need to do that also if you hit play now you will get something like this which is uh, quite weird so what you can do Simply select this flare first, press Ctrl Shift C and let's call, uh, we don't need to name that, simply hit OK. Select this, hit press Ctrl Shift C and hit OK. Select this, press Ctrl Shift C, hit OK. Select this, Ctrl Shift C, OK. Select both of them, press Ctrl Shift C and OK. Now let's go inside this and as you guys can see, this is going to start from here. So we need to go to the main animation from here. Now select all of them, hold Alt open bracket to trim it out go to the start and let's move this over here so now if you hit play we will get something like this so you will get this animation continuously like this now press select all of them press ctrl shift c and i'll name it as let's say animation maybe and hit ok double click to open this press ctrl k uh, and let's lock expect ratio let's unclick and let's make it 1080 only like this right click new and create one null object select all of them and make it parent with this null one okay select this null press s and scale it a little bit 
like this so you will get this kind of stuff now let's go to the main animation i'll select this animation i'll press s and i'll scale it like this now i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i am going to apply cc reptile effect and double click to apply and increase the right increase the left also increase the down and expand up also like this okay and in repeat you can choose either random like this or you can choose brick also so you will get this kind of variation okay and then press ctrl y to create one solid background and let's move this backward like this okay so this is how you can create this kind of shape animation inside of after effects uh, you can do this procedure also or otherwise this one also looks nicer so it's totally up to you so this is how you can do creative you know uh, stuff animation inside of after effects and after all of that you can select this let's increase this left a little bit and uh, you can apply drop shadow effect on it and you can increase the softness like this and change the brightness to 20 like this so yep that's it for today's video we will see you in my next video so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned